Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Did it tag you? Yeah. I'm excited to make dinner. What's for dinner? I'm making some jerk shrimp. Leftovers. Well, at least you got leftovers. Because if I had leftovers, then I would not be cooking. So, what's what's leftover? Uh, macaroni. Well, they just ate the rest of the chicken tenders. So, I ain't made these Nashville chicken tenders. Mm. The Nashville hot ones? Yeah, but. Mm, that made me want some bud long. Girl, they tasted like nothing. <laughs> not because of Soraya. Mm -hmm. So, it was the it's recipe she used? Whoever, whatever recipe it is. Because I've never had them, never heard of them until she decided that she wanted to make them. Mm -hmm. But they were, all you tasted was spice, if that makes sense. Mm. But it was like no mm -hmm. pizzazz. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was nothing. Hey, y'all. Welcome. Welcome. Is that Leanne? Hey, girl. Hey, so, who else is that? Rachel. On here, too. A lovely, oh, hey, See? look. Girl, but hey. I don't got everybody you got. This Alicia and Muff. Hey, Muff. Hey. <laughs> 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 hey, girl. Shoot. It's me, Andrew, y'all. So, y'all, we know what this is. This is Wine and Grow. I'm Ken. I'm K. She's K. I'm Ken. This is Wine and Grow because. We wine, we grow, and when we grow, we need wine. Now you be saying it right every time. Though. Because, I mean, we here now. Here we are. Season five, so it's about time that I get that ish right. <laughs> <laughs> it's about time, you know? So, um, yeah, so we here, we talking about, is it, oh, episode seven. I, like I mean, we only got three more episodes left, y'all. I'm so stressed that at the end. Three episodes left. Yes. That's fast. Three more episodes. I mean, we did miss two weeks, though, so. Yeah, so we kind of piled it on last week. Yeah. Um, hopefully, we don't have to do that towards the end. But this 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 episode, even though we got a little glimpse of Condola and Lawrence, like, my main thing was the friends. But the main thing was the, the friends. friends. So yeah, it was, that was it everything. It reminded me so much of us. Dang, and I got to get my phone. Excuse me, y'all. I got to get my notes. If y'all ever seen all of our friends together, that's how I felt watching that show. It brought tears to my eyes. I didn't cry though. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't cry though. <laughs> but it was good. Y'all, if I got lipstick on my teeth, is y'all gonna tell me if y'all can see it? I shouldn't know. I just keep feeling like it. <laughs> the first time I watched it though, I did I did and I didn't share to watch it shed a couple of tears. But um yeah, because I get emotional when I talk about my friends. When I think about when I think about friendship, mm -hmm. it just makes me emotional mm -hmm. because of the extent of my relationship with my friends. Mm -hmm. So whenever I, and when I seen this episode and just, it, it reminded me of that. Yeah, you know, just saying, the yeah. love that we have for each other, the accountability, um, even to the extent of just being able to let loose. Like that, just be free. You are yes. free. You are free when it's you're around your friends. It's a judgment-free zone. That's it. It should be a judgment-free zone when you're with your friends. You should be able to. I mean, if you corporate, you walking around in business, take care of business all day. You should be able to wind down with your friends, Period. grab a drink, and sometimes it, it sometimes needs to be more than some wine. Grab yeah. a drink, grab a blunt, or whatever. Shake your booty, do whatever you need to do in, with your friends because you uptight and working all day, so you got to be able to let loose. And if you can't do that with your friends, then what they your friends for? We already got a question, but I'm going to save it to the end because of what it has to do with. Okay. Dang, I'm going to charge you the whole time. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but we already started talking about my first point, which is just being able to just wind down with your friends. Like, this that judgment-free zone. Yeah. And that's what we saw... Um, in this episode of Insecure. So, again, to people who are have not been here with us the last few weeks, um, each week we've just been discussing um, the previous episode of Insecure. Um, so, this week on Insecure, 
Issa had a uh, a girls' night with her friends at her house. I can't wait till next Tuesday. And we're at, you know, we, you know, <laughs> yes, yeah, so we got our girls' night coming up on Tuesday. Um, but she got all her friends together at her house, whatever, and they just had a, a night together. Mm -hmm. And they were able to, you know, again, unwind. They was drinking, they was smoking, they was talking. I love the hat game. The question, we got to do that. <laughs> It reminded me. It reminded bowl. me of the fishbowl. Yeah. That's exactly what it reminded me of the fishbowl. And if there's any CPG people up on here, y'all know what we mean by the fishbowl. Fishbowl, like, real. Yeah, like <laughs> basically you just put a topic in the bowl. It's anonymous, and we just pull it out and talk. Mm -hmm. And I think we should do that Tuesday. We should have a fishbowl moment. I well, I guess it depends on the atmosphere of the house because we're gonna be inside, so it's not gonna be like we'd be able to. Depends on who's around, but hopefully, oh, yeah, cause, yeah, 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 but hopefully we'll be able to to do that because that's the point of it of yeah. us getting together is just being able to catch up and be honest with each other yeah um it's funny because even with who around we still do it anyway mm -hmm. because we just so comfortable that way mm -hmm. yeah yeah um so some things that came up while they were together was of course relationships mm -hmm. and that comes up, up right when you with your friends you're talking about your exes your current situations and what you like what you don't like or whatever um and Issa had made a comment, and I had to quote it. Mm -hmm. um, I don't want to be in a relationship where I have to guess. And I felt That's that. That's period. I was like, dang, girl. I'm like, okay, let me, let me write this down real when quick. there's confusion, there's no clarity. Right. <laughs> because what we saw was, in the previous episode, she was going, she was like having issues with um, Nathan about the fact that she told him that she loved him, but he didn't respond. So she was kind of like, she was curious about her, his feelings for her. Mm -hmm. She was confused, like... So what it, what is it? And he was like, he couldn't really tell her. Like, he was like, you know how I feel about you. But in this episode, he was able to find like how that happened. Too. Yes. I, I did. I, yes. It was like he had a moment to sit with himself. Yes. And really like, okay, this is the next time that this girl finna get away from me. And so I was it's like, time to pull it together. Come, come on, <laughs> this is why I've been rooting for you. I'm like, cause I've been defending you. So you better come through. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm trying not to jump because it's finna make me go to Lawrence and I'm so happy she did not call that man. But she did. That's why he called. Because remember? Oh, yeah. She, she started hung up. She hung up. So that's he why he called her back. And she didn't answer. That's what it was. She didn't answer. So I'm happy she didn't which, answer. Which took me back to a moment when we had, you know, and I was like, dang, so proud of us because we oh, did it. Like, right? Yeah, because you had those moments. You, you, so had those, you had those moments. Yeah. Especially when, you know, when the liquor's in my system, ain't no telling what I, okay? Because... <laughs> You just, you know, you get to thinking about stuff and you want to know stuff. You get to question the stuff. And that's basically, you know, what she was like, well, and, and what Molly told her, hold her, Girl. hold her accountable. First, if it's <laughs> over you, tomorrow still wants to call this man, then and do fine. it. However, you're doing exactly what Nathan said. You're being, what he said, inconsistent. You're because being you, inconsistent. You flip-floppy. Flip what are you doing? What you calling him you for? What is that going to solve? You are going backwards for what? And she blew me when she said, I just need a closure. You didn't need closure. You the one that ended it. You closed it. <laughs> what are you talking about? And you know what? That's that guilt. And, and we had that conversation. Yeah. That guilt to letting go. When you let go of somebody, but you still feel some sense of responsibility to know what's going on. Make, you know, want to know what's going on with their life and if they're okay and stuff like, you know, making sure like that, that they're just okay. Like, did it, it, are they really hurt? You know, um... Did you really mess them up to the point where they're not able to live? But, you know, it's not people going to live without you. They're going to do what they got to do. Life goes on Life goes <laughs> with on. or without you. Mm -hmm. That yeah. man now has a whole baby that he thinks about. That man, life is going mm -hmm. on just like you're moving on. Yeah, it should be a way for you to keep the comments on. No. What'd she say? This is the one I was waiting for. No, I'm talking about this last one that Alicia said. I agree. You haven't. You um, you haven't truth cut ties. ties. Yeah, and maybe you know that guilt, that guilt to letting go. You gotta let go of guilt. <laughs> Cause we will hold on to stuff, hold on to stuff, and it'd be hard to move forward. Yeah. When you you know when that guilt, ooh, and I know it, I know it all too well. You know, like, but when you get over it, it's just a sense of telling yourself that we are all adults. We all make decisions. Mm -hmm. And like Sequoia said, life is going to go on. And when you take the lesson from it, they take the lesson from it, then you both can live productive lives and grow. And hopefully down the line be able to be cordial friends and understand that the relationship was it, did exactly what it was supposed to do, you know, and if you guys took the lesson from it. Mm -hmm. 
I did a, it served its purpose. Everything is not meant to last. And we hold on to stuff, you know, thinking, it's way past we, the time every, right? everybody we get with is supposed to be that one, right? And they're not. They're not. So. And you met with so much resistance when you're trying to make them the one. Mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. be wondering why you ended up hurt, why it's not working, ask not, asking why, period. Yeah, it's it's because it's not it. supposed mm -hmm. to work. And they broke up twice. Yeah. It's not supposed to work. Mm -hmm. He he served his purpose for the beginning of her life and to, while she was growing. They had mm -hmm. their break, she came back. Mm -hmm. He served his purpose then. What's that one? It says, depending on my feelings and what has occurred, it's a process within yourself. Let it go. Yeah. Guilt. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Everything is a process. Mm -hmm. But you don't want to sit in that guilt. Because yeah. what is it doing for you? Yeah. Mm hmm But you just, like what, but what at least you just said, it's just a process. Yeah. You got to allow yourself to feel it and give yourself time to get over it. Nothing is going to just go away the same day your feelings for somebody ain't going to go away the same day, obviously. You just got to yeah. Yeah, trust I mean, yourself. I know I'll be trying to make something yeah. go away the same day. Trust your trust yourself in your decision. That's basically what that show with with her whole little little ish of trying to call is just like not really trusting her. Did I really make the right decision? Okay, Especially yeah. with things not going right with Nathan. Yeah. The way she thought they were supposed to go with Nathan. She she now she's second guessing her decision to leave Lawrence. You know, like no. Just because that's not working out, that don't mean that's supposed to still go on. And if she didn't ever see Lawrence, what would it like would you even have thought about him? Yeah. <laughs> she probably would have. She probably would have. If you didn't see Lawrence and that stuff happened with Nathan, if you was truly in it with Nathan, she wouldn't have she, No, she no, have. right. So circumstances, yeah. you know. Yeah, for sure. And Tiffany also made a comment that was just like... The smart choice and the right choice. Baby! That's why. Yes. Let me tell y'all why I stay out of people's business. Exactly for what Tiffany said. Exactly. <laughs> exactly so, for what she said. So basically... um, she they Issa was going back and forth about if she had made the best decision with letting Lawrence go in the first place. You know, her friends had their own opinions. And um Tiffany basically told her, like, well, it's about what makes sense to you. And the smart choice isn't always the right choice. So and I was like, Yes, and that because okay. people gotta be able to make their own decision and just because somebody else is saying it's wrong does not mean that it's necessarily wrong for you. We all have our own paths. We all have our own journeys and our own life and stuff that we're going to go through. And just because it may have worked that way for you does not mean it's going to work That's that exactly way for somebody else. Exactly what I was going to say. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, Shara said, I'm in a very similar situation from Issa. I'm currently dating my ex, but cut ties with a really great new dude. It's so hard. I'm in a very similar situation. I'm currently dating my ex, but I cut ties. Oh, okay. I did read that right. But a really great new dude. It's so hard. So you went back. Yeah. Yeah. Leandra said, I don't think she would have thought about Lawrence if she hadn't seen him. Mm-hmm. Mm. I, I don't I don't think he if if she would have, it wouldn't have came up the way it came up. Like I don't feel like it would have been the same. It wouldn't have been guilt or nothing like that. But, but she probably would have wondered. She eventually. saw this man with his yeah. entire fam with his family. Because um they still roll with it within the same friend group, and I, I'm in. I've had that situation, girl. I've had that situation. The stuff we did. <laughs> <laughs> you run, you still run within the same friend group, so you you bound to bump into somebody. You know, to, she was bound to bump into him one day. So you know, like, so that was gonna happen, Shara. Right, cause you. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So, what made you go back? If you if you knew this dude was a great dude, what made you go, go back, back to, to the ex? ex? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was I was trying to just let it go. Yeah, but we need some more details. Yeah, on this yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna give you. We gonna give you some time to respond. <laughs> <laughs> because JT said comfort. Fourteen. Okay. Um, fourteen years of history. So comfort. Yes. Comfort. Yes. That's... <laughs> girl. Why don't you want to be uncomfortable? The unknown ain't a bad thing. Always. And you know what? But we... And we don't know... I would like to... I mean... And I don't know how much you comfortable... How comfortable you are with sharing your business... Yeah. With everybody. But I would love to know what happened to even lead to y'all breaking up. Because... You have to be able to weigh it out. Like, if... If that history really weighs more than the reason for you letting it go in the first place because you you let it go for a reason yeah so 
And you got with this new person for a reason. So unless that was just you getting with somebody else just out of trying to make this person jealous to try to get them back, you know, if you were just using them to kind of get over, you know, to get over that person, like that's something different. Yeah. But we would have to know more detail about, you know, why it really ended. So, but we ain't here to give you relationship advice. comfort though, so yeah. I mean, that's mm -hmm. just as simple as it gets. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-mm. I've done it enough, so yeah. I've stayed because I mean, we all, yeah. Yeah, so, mm -hmm. but you, when we're time, done, we're done. Man. So, you just give yourself time, even if you feel, even if you're feeling uneasy about the decision that you made now, give yourself time to work through it. She did say she feel like she rebounded with the new guy. Mm-hmm. And you, because you may have needed some more time anyways mm -hmm. to be by yourself before you even went with a new guy. But you know what? And I've said this before on the show, like, because sometimes we need people to help us get out of something. You know, like, to really be like, okay, there is something else out there. I can be loved by someone else. And that, that exposure to that helps you move on. Yeah. You know, but again, 14 years is a very long time. A very long time to be with somebody. But you just got to build your confidence in yourself and to your worthiness um, outside of that relationship to be able to determine if that's really something that you're supposed to be in. Mm -hmm. You know, and if you should be moving on. So, yeah. yeah. Blessings to you, sister, on your journey. That's all I got to say. Um, and, um, because they was just drop, dropping some good gems in this whole episode. Um, and something else that was dropped was just being intentional in your relationships. Yeah. Um, and that's something, because that. they was getting, they were, they had all these, Issa had all these plans. I'm like, ask me. This how it's going to go. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and everything just got, you know. I've thrown out the window, so they basically just ended up having a night in, indoors, just talking and catching up. Um, and they were supposed to get massages and go to dinner and all that other type of stuff. Sounds like a fun night. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, um, and they realized when they was getting ready to go that the last time they had been together was three months before then, when they had went to Coachella. And they're like, we can't let that much time go right before we end up getting, we before we see each other again. And um, what they is it? talking about some like y'all boat party. Betty, sit down. Right. I, I mean, <laughs> it happens. <laughs> we gonna do that next that summer, though. Just a we whole gonna, I got a whole, I'm, we got a whole nother plan for that next summer. Like, it's just gonna, and we probably gonna end up doing more, than, doing it more than once. So, just stay tuned, JT. Just make sure you still got your boat. How about that? So we can make, <laughs> so we can contact you. But, um, but yeah, so being, so she was just like, we gotta make sure that it doesn't take us three months to get together again. Mm -hmm. You know, and, I know that I, that was a, a revelation that I've had over the past couple of months of just being more intentional about my relationships and my uh, my friendships, even my long distance relationships. Leandra, girl, because you know me and Leandra, girl, and I ain't forgot about you. I'm sorry. No, we we started a little book club, so I've been able to even reconnect with them, even though we're distant. And I, you know, I made it my my um my intention to make sure that I let them know when I'm in town, so that we can get together face to face more. Um, as far as my relationships go here, once a month, my friends and I get together once a month, my line sisters and I get together, which is also my friends, but I just got to separate the two by saying that. So like I've been intentional about setting dates, standing dates monthly mm -hmm. with the people that matter to me. Um, the Mayak isn't here any longer. So now I have to be even more intentional about that. So it's like, I'm gonna either go to rock for one month or the one month he going to come here, making sure everybody is on my, on my schedule, even myself. You know, so yeah. once a month I have a day to myself. You know, maybe even twice a month where I just go do something that Kenyatta enjoys. Yeah. We, I'm basically the same thing, though. Of course, I got my once a month with them. Me and these just started going um, out to eat yesterday. We're going to do that once a month. Mm -hmm. um, trying new places that we haven't been. We went to Gino's Prime and Surf yesterday. Mm, I've been wanting to try that. It's nice in there, too, girl. Mm -hmm. It's pretty. But Y'all yeah, got to try the little Italy restaurant, where, too. That's what we were supposed to go, but yeah, they didn't have no reservations. There. And they got sangria. Six out sangria on uh, Tuesday. Yeah, they they did it but yes, <laughs> yes. So yeah, we're gonna be doing that. Um, I started back doing because Soraya started working and stuff, and so then I started back doing our family night. So mm -hmm. we did that Sunday where me and Soraya both cooked. Mm -hmm. um, we played bingo. Um, we finna watch the Christmas break in this upcoming Sunday. Um, I, I talk to my mom every day, y'all. So yeah. <laughs> so. Um, yeah, you know, just really, really being more intentional. But that's, but I also said that before, 
and how I've been starting. I can feel it by how I've been starting to show up for people mm -hmm. um, and for myself and for myself, baby. Yeah. And it just, I'm just so happy. <laughs> Cause I mean, life is yeah. just teaching us like, it, you, I mean, we've been knowing that, you know, life ain't promised. And, yeah. But it's just like been with these last couple of years with everything just being so in the air. Even now they're talking mm -hmm. about possible another, uh, possibly another shutdown. Like things are just so literally it's like in the air. We just don't know what tomorrow is going to bring. Like we knew that before, but we know that now. Mm -hmm. Like literally our lives can just be taken away from us tomorrow this second that like the government could say y'all can't go outside y'all you know you can't see your family and you know so it's like while you can them. take advantage of it yes take yes. advantage of it because on y'all people yes. hard mm -hmm. forgive yourself and mm -hmm. forgive these people tell people what they mean to you now don't wait until they die and be like i miss you you meant this you meant that like tell me now Tell me now. Yeah, we the have good so things. much great stuff to say when these people gone. Yes, tell me now. Why y'all not telling nobody in here? <laughs> tell me now. <laughs> tell me now. That's mm -hmm. how you sound. That's all I keep hearing. <laughs> yeah. Um, you want to go back to that other question? It said, "Hey, Kianda. Hey, girl. Hey. Okay. How do you ladies feel about friends dating your old lovers? Oh, and they. Oh, that was an episode, kind of, because they asked the question like, uh. Would you uh would you have sex with any of your friends' exes? And Kelly was talking about my uh um girl, what's his name? Daniel. Yeah, they all was talking about Daniel. But, she, up but, but <laughs> well, because initially Molly said somebody else, but then when she said Daniel, she was like, Oh, oh yeah, yes, somebody was from Daniel. younger years, yeah. And then she ended up DMing him. But you see, Issa didn't even acknowledge it. She didn't even acknowledge it at all. Like she's like, cause Daniel could cool is I gave him your address. Like, girl. <laughs> I'm like, wow. you <laughs> cool. <laughs> girl. Um, girl. That is the wrong Daniel. But, I mean, so that's just gonna go... That's... Oh, y'all... That's... Y'all that's friends... Y that's exactly... That's like, y'all... Y'all have to set guidelines and standards within your friend group. Um, and some things are just unspoken. Um, because I just think, like, we would just... Our just friends would just not do that. And even even with my line sisters, like, and that happened over the weekend. Like, I had to make that known. Like, um, somebody trying to talk to me, then one of my line sisters, nope, because I don't know the she extent of it, his baby. So that ain't your friend, <sighs> is she? Girl, <laughs> definitely not your friend. Because, ain't no issue. Like, no because how happened. did that even happen? Right? Like, how did you even like? So you were always interested. Like that's when you start asking questions. Like, so were, were you, you always like, interested in this person? What was y'all doing on the side? Because now it makes you question everything. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, don't even question the friendship. That ain't your friend. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that ain't your friend. Wow. That's why I said some things are just unspoken when you're friends with somebody. Like you just certain things even, you just don't do. Don't they call yeah. it girl code, guy code? And that's just because why would that even come up? Like, why Why would you want to date somebody that I dated? Mm -hmm. Even if y'all could have been compatible. Y'all ain't now because I've dated him already. And we close friends. Like, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. Um, so the final question that I had, the final bullet point, was actually from their wind down. Okay. They did at the end uh, of that episode. Yeah. Um, and um, what's his name? name? Prentice. No, he, is he Prentice? Prentice. Okay. Yeah. So he asked them, like, how do you maintain your friendships when everybody, while everybody is evolving, continuing to evolve, right? So, like, and that's something that we talked about a lot, too, mm -hmm. within our friend group. Like, everybody is changing, right? But somehow, we still have been able to remain friends yeah. through it. And there's, you know, Oops, there's times when you literally lose people, mm -hmm. you know, as you're growing, you know, because obviously everybody is not meant to go everywhere with, with you. you. Mm -hmm. um, but sometimes you, you have to be more intentional about keeping people in your life. So what I do, what I think, what, what I think is important is, if, is evaluating what that person brings to your life. Mm -hmm. um, and if that is a thing, if they bring something good to your life, like we said, being intentional about keeping them in your life. Yeah. So planning dates, you know, talking to them, you know. If you're on a journey, inviting them to join the journey with you. Obviously, you can't force somebody to do it with you, right. you know, but you don't know what other people may be interested in, so you just share it. Yeah. And maybe they may want to join. 
And like, um, but ironically, I felt like my journey was kind of like everybody was starting a journey when I was starting a journey, you know, like in our own way though. Like, so it's like how they say you really are the company that you keep. Mm -hmm. So you're going to, um, indirectly affect the people around you with the decisions that you make, mm -hmm. you know, whether you know it or not. So if you start doing something and you're really close to people and they know that you're doing it, they're going to become interested in it. It's like the other day, um, I was braiding hair and somebody was like, I got that, um, that dish rack. And I was wondering where I got the idea for the dish rack, but I knew I seen it somewhere, but then I went and bought it. But see, that's how stuff is. You see something and then next thing you know, you're interested in it and you go do it too. Yeah. That's how, that's how simple it is. So you're literally who you are, who's around you. And that's why they say you got to be careful about who you, who you have around you because it does matter. Mm -hmm. That stuff does rub off on you. You got to protect yourself. You know, let you what you allow in and what you uh, allow to come out, mm -hmm. because not everybody is is for you. And you learn that when you're growing, yes. you learn who is for you and who's not for you. So, and if you have friends and your you know in your circle and you're trying to evolve and they're holding you back, that's when you know you gotta let them go. Mm -hmm. You know, but if it's people who supporting you along the way, even if they decide it's not for them, but they're supporting you and rooting you on, then you keep those people in your mm -hmm. life. That's your support system. That's so funny. My daughter learning that right now. Yeah. And she's letting people, because I've been having to tell her, I know how I was growing up and how I maintained friendships and kept people around me because of how I was brought up. But I've been telling her, girl, and I'll be, because you, as a parent, and I know my mom, we our moms will say the same thing, this person ain't for you, this person ain't your friend, yada, mm -hmm. yada, yada. I've been finding myself saying that to Soraya. She did lost one friend last year, mm -hmm. <laughs> and but I've been telling her these people ain't your friends. Mm -hmm. An incident happened where so I went to the mall Saturday. Two of her friends, she don't have a phone right now, which I just ordered, so mm -hmm. she have a phone Friday. But um, they left her in a store, and they tried. So I normally when she at home, she uses the iPad. So they somebody called her one time, but they went to a whole another store. And on top of the fact that she's ended up being like the fifth wheel mm -hmm. or whatever. But they, um, it was sharp. So, but, um, I told her, I said, first of all, them wow. girls is not your friends. Exactly. Them girls is not your friends. They shouldn't have left you in the store. They didn't even come looking for you for real. They left you. And she said, she stopped talking to them. She told them, I told them how I feel. I said, you need to tell them how you feel because that's going to happen again. Mm -hmm. If you don't say anything, they're going to keep thinking that's okay because you being real passive about the situation. And she was like, I told them how I felt and I told them I'm going to take a break from them. She came to my room today. She said, I haven't talked to them these few days and I thought I was going to be sad, but I think I'm going to stop being friends with them. Mm -hmm. Period. Because they're mm -hmm. your friends. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, and that go like even with this comment with, with Shara saying, like anybody who's intentionally going to cause you harm is not your friend like first of all for them to say like you shouldn't be bothered if you moved on that's bull them people shit. is terrible bullshit his and i don't even like to, i don't even like to curse <laughs> on live but that is bullshit mm. because first of all you know what this person meant to me once upon a time and i don't know how long you were with that person because you would the person who you with now obviously that ain't this person so but i hope the people that's around you telling you that that's that you shouldn't be worried about it ain't the, your friends either yeah <laughs> Cause, i mean because it like because how can you say that unless like, this was like a one night stand type of thing I just like, feel like what this is somebody who you was legit in a relationship with and now they're in a relationship with somebody who you had feelings for like yes that matters yes you should be bothered by that but because have an and issue. then you said this was your closest friend during the time you were dating him so that means she was listening to what you were saying and then prepping for her moment that's what, what you got to be careful what you tell people about your man. Because you don't know what they're going to do. But you should be able to trust your friends. That girl just showed her true colors. That's all. <laughs> Period. She showed her true colors. And no, and you be the only thing you shouldn't be bothered by is losing her. That's the only thing you shouldn't be bothered by. You got a reason to feel the way you feel. Yep. She said, thank y'all. So they were sneaky linking behind my, like, exactly. Mm -hmm. Sneaky linking behind my back. This is current, but he, he's a past guy. Mm -hmm. Yep. Girl. Like, why would she think that's okay? I'm yep. sure she didn't even talk to you and tell you, like, um, so, The fact that, yes. Like. The fact that it was done secretly says enough. Yeah. She knew something was wrong with it. 
Yeah. Because you could have came to me prior to and be like, hey, girl, I'm interested. Or such and such has been showing interest in me. How do you How feel do you about feel? this before I go do it? Because it's a different thing. It's difference between you making a mistake than you intentionally doing something. Uh -uh. Um, both of them is wrong, though. I understand that you definitely mostly upset with her mm -hmm. because that was your friend. Hey, he, he just as wrong as she is because he was involved with you as well. Mm -hmm. That shouldn't have happened. And those knows, those, those lines should not have crossed. He know that's your friend. And if he, he mess around and just be trying to get back at you by doing that with her. Mm. Lord, Let me tell you something. I don't even worry about they karma is mm -hmm. they own business. And that's why I said don't be that's man. why that's why you shouldn't be bothered. Because you let let God handle them. If mm -hmm. it was coming from that place from the people that told you. Mm hmm But you should you should but have you been, can yes. have feelings for, you can, about that. Yes. 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 But don't let it <laughs> but don't let it keep you bitter and all that other type of stuff and, and envious or whatever. You know, don't harbor no no ill feelings towards her. But you have every right to have been upset about it. But but move on. It's done now. She said we should have our own show. We do. This, this is one. it. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you. Thank you. She we was literally Issa, y'all. <laughs> I felt like Issa. I know. I, I think, think everybody I know I has been felt consistent like Issa. a few times in my life. Yes. I know I have. I think everybody has been an Issa at one moment <laughs> in their life. So... <laughs> And that's why we, we, we chose to, you know, have this season be about Insecure because we can relate to it so much. And I really think, you know, this day last season, like, so now people can literally go just binge it yeah. and just watch it and just get it all at once. And yeah. you just see the growth and the characters, the Girl. different the different changes that they've gone through and stuff. Easy you know, and just, how, and just how you step back sometimes, and that's okay. You just got to be able to move forward. Sometimes you're going to fall back. You're going to... You're going to trip and fall, but you just got to get up and keep it moving. Girl, they grow, they, like, just looking at the characters different. Like, Issa, when she first started this, Issa looked like a totally different person mm -hmm. than what she do now. I said, she fine. Oh, oh okay. Kelly Sister looked smaller than up. what she was. Because Issa was smaller than what she was. I know, but I'm saying, but you can, you, you can see up. it. The if you go back up. and watch all of these, you can definitely see it. The glow up. But that's how I be feeling about my journey. Man. Like. I mean, except I had the opposites, you know, with the weight stuff. But it's okay. I'm working on that. I'm working on that. All right, y'all. I'm working on that. Yeah. But regardless, um, <laughs> the glow ups be real. And I love watching people's glow ups. Yeah. So, yeah. But that's about it. Yeah, that's about it for the episode, you know. And I we appreciate the input, you know. Thank you, Shara, for sharing on, you know, with us and stuff. Yeah. And we hope. Girl, you were spilling some tea, okay? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We hope that our, you know, advice was helpful. Yeah. You know, we're not a relationship advisor. Absolutely not. You know, we just we just speak from I'm still trying to take my own advice. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. So, but we just we speak from what we probably would do or how we would feel. You yes. know, I haven't personally um, had that happen to me. No. You know, and I would not no. like to have that happen to me. Because <laughs> sometimes I could be a ticking time bomb. Don't don't yeah. come around me with that. Don't but come I mean, it's just like because I just feel that. like I mean. Anybody that I've for real been with, I don't even think my friends even like like that. Like, but they don't because even. Sometimes, you know? Because most, not even sometimes, a lot of the times we can see how this person is. Yeah, and do how they wear turn, with you. Yeah. It'd be a it turn off. Like, what do you do? It'd be a turn off. And more than anything, they be seeing them people as brothers. brothers. Uh, well, at least that's what we thought. Exactly. Because <laughs> sometimes they be bro and obviously be low key sneaking, uh, sneaky leaking. Y'all so. nasty. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Mm -mm. That's crazy. But, girl. Mm -mm. So, we ain't going to keep y'all no longer. Y'all. Yeah. We ain't going to keep y'all no she longer. She said, yes, keep doing this, girls. I needed girl talk this evening. Thought I was tripping. <laughs> oh, girl. We got you, girl. Yeah. Come back next week. For some more, grab, hopefully you got your wine, you know, so grab your wine next week and join us back here at the same time. We'll, well be here. at seven, we was a little late today. We were, you know, but it's okay. <laughs> when we go live, we go live. Yeah. But it ain't gonna never be like no 7.30, 8 o'clock type of thing. It's gonna always be like seven -ish. around 7-ish. <laughs> <laughs> All okay. right, so, so we gonna go because we obviously just having too much fun. Unless y'all got something else y'all want to say. No, no. Okay. Five. Four, so yeah, three, we'll see y'all next week. We love y'all. Bye. <laughs>